Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Harmony of Dissonance and I'm going to hold on to the daggers for now. Why the heck not? Yeah, okay, so we're heading down and towards that middle area that I went into but never explored. See what we can find. It is kind of an enclosed area, so we'll probably end up exploring as much of that as we can. Yeah, we'll explore much of this as much of this as we can in this episode. And may end up I don't know, cutting to somewhere for the next episode. We'll see what happens, I guess, and how far I get. Hey, these bone armors aren't too difficult. Bone pillars. I don't know why I said bone armor. Ow. Ha ha. Well, that takes a while, but I can just basically cheat. That's fun. Okay, and that spits me out here again. Okay. Ha ha. I don't know why that amuses me so much. Yeah, I'm still not... Ooh, there's something nice up there, it looks like. We need to start getting some abilities soon. There's lots of places that we haven't been able to reach. So I need either a duck walk, like a crouching walk, or a like low slide of some kind to get through some places, and I'm going to need a high jump of some kind. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to make it up there, I think. I think I just might have found a glitch. Let's see if we can make that happen again. There we go. What do we got? Logoth's ring. What is that? Uh. Increases mm. strength of the knife, but puts my defense down to 46. Uh, we'll hold on to it, but we're not going to use it right at the moment. Okay, so that was the end of that. Um, I'm thinking... Okay, I'm thinking that one square down at the bottom is probably the next place I'll go. But I'm not going to make y'all watch all of the backtracking. I will, I suppose, meet you over there. And I'll show you on the map where I'm at once I get there. So I'll see you in just a few. Okay, so right here, it appears that there's another item. So let's check out what it is lizard tail which is probably a relic lizard tail pressing down and jump user may slide oh wow okay well there's a couple places we could use that but 
we're gonna go ahead and head to where I was saying we're gonna go anyway, which we're almost to. So let's just head over there. I guess we probably should have went that way when I beat that boss, but you know. Oh well. So we're gonna head down this way? No. Okay, well this isn't anywhere we can go either. Um... Well then. I'm not really sure where I should be going. Let me see if I can find a couple of those places where I could slide under and see what I can find. So I suppose I'm going to do a little exploring and show you when I get there. If I go anywhere that I haven't been to on this map already, then I will unpause, obvi unpause the recording and uh, show all that on camera. So I will see you when I figure out exactly where I am. Alright, here we are at this one. So let's pick this up. And it turns out that my slide can also hurt enemies. So that's good to know, I suppose. But I'm going to see if I can't find that other, other spot where you can slide under and uh, see what's there. So I will meet you when I get there. Okay, I'm back at this save point right here. I just saved to get back my energy and that slidey spot that we couldn't do before is right here. Fire book and summer clothes. Well, let's check out what those are. Okay, um, I, I'm guessing the fire book is probably a, another spell book. It is. Okay, and then summer clothes. Let's check that out. That makes my intelligence go way up, but my defense go down. Um, we'll leave it as it is for now. And I think I'm going to head for, I don't know if you can see it on the map or not, but a little bit to the left and below me is a spot that looks like I can drop through the floor. So I'm going to head that way and hope for the best so yeah we'll hold on to the axes for now I'll try to to think it out and make plans so I don't end up backtracking too too much but who knows what's going to happen so so we'll see all right sweet so here there we are that's where we drop through the floor Looks like we've got two paths here. Ooh, look at those, like, heads on the floor. That's very strange, but very cool. And the enormous skeleton hanging in the background. Room of Illusion, huh? Fancy bandana. Alright, we'll check out what that is here in a few minutes. Oh, wow. That's quite acid triptacular.
Yeah. Still hold on to the axes. Hmm. This look, looks like maybe a warp room. Let's let's hold off on this for the moment. And see where that other path would take us where we drop down don't want to commit myself to anything before I before I uh, just explore all of my options No, I didn't mean to throw that axe. I need a new controller, one that has a better D-pad. Using an analog stick on a lot of games that were designed for a D-pad is slightly, slightly irritating. Okay, this appears to be a dead end, but I'm glad I went this way because I got a life max. And you know, always is good to take whatever experience I can get on my way. I really should try not to skip too many enemies unless I'm in trouble health-wise or ow or something. And maybe not get into a rush like that either. Okay, now let's see what this does. Things look different than they did before. Okay. Castle Treasury. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm doing all right on time. I got a little bit. So, what else we can discover before I end this video?